much every time out in the UFC, DC, this man has put on a striking clinic, and that is his methodology coming in here tonight. He'll try to keep the fight on. And that's why we tune in, right? That's why we tune in. We tune in to see guys that are dynamic. We tune in for the speed. We tune in for the knowledge of the striking game, the ability to set traps, the ability to find the jab, the ability to find the right hand, the right kick, the left kick, the knees, the elbows. He truly uses every weapon that he has in his arsenal to try and finish his opponent. You make one mistake, night's over. You cannot make mistakes against a guy that has the striking acumen yeah. of this guy right here. And the jab is not as underutilized a weapon as it was in MMA, say, five or seven years ago. But he's got as good a jab as anyone in the business. And that is where all of his striking flows off of. We'll see how it goes for him in this matchup tonight. Well, you can argue this is the most influential martial artist of all time, the great Bruce Lee, making his walk to the octagon here tonight, Jim. Everybody wants to be Bruce Lee. They say they want to be like Mike. If you're a fighter, you want it to be like Bruce Lee. You want it to be that fast. You want it to be that charismatic. You want it to have an ability to just freeze your opponents. Your speed, your movement, just the diversity in the attacks that you can give your opponents would just confuse people. I mean, I watched him beat a seven-foot Kareem Abdul Jabbar to stay undefeated. Right. If you could do that, you could do anything. I fear not the man who has practiced 10,000 kicks once, but I fear the man who has practiced one kick 10,000 times, Bruce Lee, in a nutshell. Just so wise. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon, Dan Bergliata. And now, this is the moment you've all been waiting for. Live from the sold-out Madison Square Garden Arena in New York City, Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a kickboxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands six feet one inch tall, weighing in at 165 pounds. Fighting out of Hong Kong, Assassin. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet seven inches tall, weighing in at 170 pounds, fighting out Los Angeles, California, Bruce the Dragon Lee! All right, Grinton rules in the locker room. I want you to obey my commands at all times, protect yourself at all times. On a nice, clean, safe fight. Touch gloves, back your corners, come out for you. And with that touch of the gloves, we are underway. You ready? You ready? All right, crowd getting excited as this fight gets underway, and you hate to call any fighter on this UFC roster a specialist. But on one side, you have a definite striker taking on a true 5 2 fight. And you see a guy in the striker who knows exactly who he is. He knows where the fight needs to be. He knows what he has to do in order to be successful. Let's see if he can keep his opponent off of him. Nice job landing the knee there. He's got a lot of size for this division and put it to good use there. Big ball punch land. Now he gets back to range. I mean, he's cutting him down to size with these beautiful leg kicks. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this gentleman. Nice body. Checks the light kick. Not there.
big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one up? Well, not much of a setup there. Misses with the left hook. Lee gets touched by that kick there. Just over three minutes to go in our first round. He's throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. Under three minutes now to go in the round. Look at how he turns his hip into that leg kick. Ooh, big shot, man. Right hand upstairs. Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. And he landed the right hand there. Big leg kick lands. Oh, massive head kick there. We'll see if he can finish. Big miss by Lee. He'd be wise to get those hands up. Continues to mix it up, going to the head, mixing in some body shots. Oh, he lands another strike to the body, really starting to connect on a lot of shots to the midsection. Over the top, this fight's gonna be over this year. What a great way of mixing up his attack. He didn't stay the course, he mixed it up. He went high when his opponent thought he was going low, and now he's got him hurt very badly. Oh, and the Superman punch is good. Big punch land. Oh, nice job to land a knee to the body. Man, I wish I was at the top. Yet another knee finds the target. So a huge moment here. Now we'll see if he can follow it up. So we cross the 30-second mark in our opening round. Twenty seconds now remain in the round. That was sick, man. Nice strike. Way to hide that leg kick. Ooh, nice overhand leg. Telegraph that spinning back fist. Round two next. All right, let us get you some highlights from that previous round, DC. And how about just the, the sheer volume of head kicks for him? I don't know why this dude's energy bar isn't completely zapped. You can't throw that many head kicks over the course of a fight. But I guess if you're landing them, you might as well keep going. Round two underway. has been the money weapon for him tonight, and he landed it again there. If his opponent does not change something, he will continue to throw the strike until he makes it. Stop throwing. All right, so he's landed some good shots tonight, but this is not a combo meal, right? No three-piece, no. no soda. It's one and done more often than not. John, don't you come to me without a combo. I want the <laughs> whole platter. Give him the whole platter, young man. Put some punches together. Make this guy take the whole thing. Give him more than one strike. You have now found the setup punch. The jab is landing consistently. Find something that's going to go behind it. Nice connection with the punch there. It's hard to recall a time in the past that his boxing looked this sharp. He's never looked this good. He's very
very tricky to control that body kick. Good night if that landed. Come on, come on, come on, let's go. Oh, lands a stiff punch there. Nice connection. Oh, nice land. to the midsection. Got to think his opponent's going to feel that one in the morning. And he's going to continue to throw that strike because he knows that his opponent can't take many of them. Over and over he lands big body kicks. High kick, go! Well, he's really picked up the pace here in round two. Much more aggressive now here and starting to find himself in the pocket. Double leg, take down. Lee gets caught with that punch. His chin is held up thus far. Got to shore up the defense here, though. on the straight right hand. Nice. Oh, a huge block there. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. Ooh, head kick lands, he's hurt. Just unable to quite find that range. Look at him drive his shin into his opponent's body with that body kick. That right hand hurt him a little bit. How's his opponent still standing? I mean, I have no idea. This fight is supposed to be over. It might not be over now, but it's going to be over very soon. Punch over the top. Oh! All right, let's check out some of the action now from that previous round, and he really kept finding a home for those kicks. Yeah, and why would you change it? If your opponent is not going to check, if he's going to stand there, and he's not on his toes, and he's stationary, you keep driving those kicks into his thighs, into his body, until he makes some sort of adjustment. You ready? You ready? Let's Third round fight. underway. Well, just as he did in the previous round, continuing to land a high number of strikes here, and he hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down. Scary, scary proposition for the opponent. Oh, and he 
lands a knee to the body now, DC. Talk to us about that strike. They suck so bad, especially when you're going forward. You walk full speed to a knee to the body, it could in the night. Big kick. Back to the left hand now, unable to connect. Ooh, what a punch. Ooh, nice, nice knee to the body, very nice. You don't know when that leg kick's coming. Oh, you can hear the thwack from here as he lands another leg kick in DC. Now we're seeing visible damage as that leg starts to redden up. And now you start to see the damage. And now you start to see the limping of the opponent. Watch as he gets kicked in the leg, he's turning away. He can't even get any pressure on his front leg anymore. He is beat up. That leg has been tenderized by this young man. Just misses with the right. Ooh wee! Ooh wee! What a right hand by this young man. Just over three minutes to go in round three. Let's get busy with those hands now, man. Come on, let him go. Keep busy, keep busy. Well, he is really starting to apply a lot of pressure here down the stretch. Not as much offense earlier in the fight. He is making up for lost time now. Beautiful strike. Sniff that one out as he blocks the kick. Oh, there he goes, attacking that lead leg to the outside. Nasty kick there. Nasty leg kick. You gotta slow down your opponent. He knew his opponent wanted to move a lot tonight. This is the first step in getting him to slow down and fight at your pace. But he needs to check one of these kicks. He has to discourage him from doing this kick over and over again. Still unable to find that precise range with the high kick. Oh man, that's hard to watch. Another leg kick lands flush, and if you're the opponent at this point in time, you gotta check something. What are you doing? You gotta adjust. You gotta be doing something different, because to this point, what you're doing is not working. Get close, fight chest to chest, maybe relax on the outside. Don't panic, don't be jumpy. Try to find comfort in knowing that you've done this. You have the reps, you know how to check kicks. Just take your time, be comfortable, get that leg up. It's only gonna take oh. And maybe time to get the bonus checks ready. I mean, this fight is about done. He's got him hurt very bad with his head kicks. Now he has to strike to end the night. Looked like it did stun him a little bit. Crazy accuracy and efficiency with these ground and pound strikes here. And if you're the opponent, you've got to intelligently defend or the referee's going to stop him. You've got to defend. But you can see him now starting to gain posture and the intensity at which Throwing these ground strikes is starting to improve. It's starting to elevate because he knows that he can get the finish. Big kick lands. Oh, he just continues to pour it on. He has been aggressive all night long with his striking. Got to be careful here to not empty the gas tank. So far, so good, though, in this round. Strong defense here as the hook to the head is blocked. Nice punch lands over the top. That's three rounds in the can. We're headed to the championship round.
right, so there's the end of the round. Few things in MMA more devastating than a head kick and nearly produced a knockout for him there. We talked to him earlier in the week and he talked about chances to take the kicks high. He got a chance, he took it, he landed that kick and almost got the fight finished. Let's see if he can go and do that again. All right, next round is underway, and if you look at these two guys in between rounds, it looks like they've barely broken a sweat, both with good resting heart rate, stamina still very high, and you just have to laud the efforts of these guys in training. Both men certainly noted cardio specialists, but incredible that they would have this much in the tank after 10 plus minutes of fighting. Well, not only has he stayed aggressive as he was in the previous round, landing a high volume of strikes, but he's also been efficient, not just with his strikes, but also with his body movement. Complete performance out of this fighter here tonight. Beautiful kick. Tags him with that uppercut. Big punch lands through the middle. Watch these to the body. Oh. You don't really stand after you take a head kick like this. That is such toughness to even be on his feet right now. Ah, oh, that jab hurt him. Look at how he turns his hip over when he throws that kick. Come on, buddy. Keep your hands up. Let's go. Just out of the range with that right hand. Big leg kick land. Some nice back and forth action here. Lands with the right hand. Again, he's looking for that left. It's not there. Lands the right hand. Real sneaky body kick. Just over three minutes to go. right there. He told us Thursday that he was going to be kick-heavy tonight, and that is certainly a step in the right direction. He is landing that strike. He's very effective with it. Let me see that hook now. No wasted motions on those kicks. There's no tell. Oh. Oh. Just missed on that spinning attack. Oh, straight right. Oh, looking to land the leg kick, but unable to find the target. Man, striking class is in session. Beautiful punch there. Great job landing. What a damaging punch. Oh, nice shot. Man. He's a target. He's hurt bad. Under two minutes to go in the round. Oh, that's a good right hand. Oh, big head kick lands. Oh! He ate that kick. He took that whole kick, yep. Oh, huge block! Man, it doesn't take a lot of these kicks to produce redness. Look at the left side of his body there. Nasty. Oh, look at that jab. Snapped his head back. His jab gets to the target so fast, and he always brings his hand right back to his face. Kickboxing chops on full display with that offering. Nicely done. Beautiful kick landed by this man. Nice leg kick. Oh, well, you can't enter the pocket there unprotected. You got to figure out a way to get your guard up a little bit. Another kick lands to the head there. And let's see if he and his corner can make the proper adjustments defensively to avoid any further head kicks here in this fight. Oh, nice.
Just missing on the high kick there. All right, let's go. Let's get that. Lee's kick locked. Lands a right hand out of that exchange. Oh! And just like that, the fight is over. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> yeah, that right there is a high-level knockout, ladies and gentlemen. Crowd absolutely loving it. Just a perfect shot to end the fight. Landed flush. I'm not even sure his opponent saw it coming. So a huge, huge win for that young fighter here tonight. Well, what a moment for this fighter here tonight. A massive knockout on the sports biggest stage. Seminal moment for that fighter tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Dan Mergliata has called a stop to this contest at four minutes, 39 seconds of round number four. Declaring the winner by knockout, Bruce the Dragon Lee. Well, there will be no shutting that smile off tonight. The celebration is on as he gets a huge win by knockout tonight. I got to think there are a few better feelings in the world than walking into an octagon and candidly knocking another man out. Yeah, you set a person's likes off, man. There's nothing like it. Now, I understand a lot of times we hope for the knockout, but he was never.